Hello and welcome to Flexibility Learning Channel. In this video, we will learn about software and types of software. So let's get started. First of all, we will see what is a software. Software refers to a set of programs, instructions, and data that tell a computer what to do. It is a crucial component of a computer system, enabling it to perform a wide range of tasks and functions. Now we will study types of software. Software can be broadly categorized into two main types. First is System software Second is Application software We will study these both one by one in detail. First of all System software System software is responsible for managing and controlling the hardware resources of a computer. It provides a platform for other software applications to run and ensures that the computer's hardware components work together harmoniously. System software has some functions. Key functions of system software include Operating system, OS Device drivers Utility programs Bootloader We will see all these functions in detail. First function of system software is Operating System OS The operating system is the most critical piece of system software. It acts as an intermediary between the hardware and the user slash application software. The OS handles tasks such as hardware management, memory allocation, file management, user interfaces, and security. Examples of popular operating systems include Microsoft Windows, macOS, Linux, and Android. Second function is Device drivers Device drivers are software components that allow the operating system to communicate with and control hardware devices like printers, graphics cards, and input devices. They ensure proper interaction between the OS and hardware components. Third function of system software is Utility programs Utility programs are system software tools that perform various system maintenance and optimization tasks. Examples include antivirus software, disk defragmenters, backup tools, and system diagnostics. And last function is Bootloader The bootloader is a small program that loads the operating system into memory when the computer starts up. It initiates the boot process. So this was all about system software. Now we will study about application software. Application software is designed for specific tasks and functions that cater to the needs and interests of users. It is what most people think of when they refer to software, as it includes all the programs and apps that users interact with to accomplish various tasks. Application software is divided into some common categories. Categories of application software include Word processing software Spreadsheet software Presentation software Web browsers Media players Gaming software Now we will see all these categories in detail. First is all Word processing software These applications, such as Microsoft Word and Google Docs, are used for creating and editing documents, including letters, reports, and manuscripts. Next is Spreadsheet software Spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets is used for tasks involving numerical data, calculations, and data analysis. Next is Presentation software Presentation software, such as Microsoft PowerPoint and Apple Keynote, helps users create and deliver visually appealing slideshows and presentations. Next category is Web browsers Web browsers like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Microsoft Edge enable users to access and interact with websites and web applications. Next is Media players Media player software, like VLC Media Player and Windows Media Player, allows users to play audio and video files in various formats. Last category of application software is Gaming software Video games are a significant category of application software, 
with various genres and platforms, including PC, console, and mobile gaming. So this was all about software, and two basic types of software, which are, system software, and application software. Thanks for watching this video. If this video was helpful, do like and subscribe this channel for future learning.